and everyone's been replacing my dorm, the bathroom. But regardless, an interesting episode of Friday Night Smackdown because whether it's Rollins getting PTSD over his Hell in a Cell match against Edge of Crown Jewel, King of the Ring and Queen's Crown starting off, or a very interesting contract signing between three women, which could be the potential main event for Crown Jewel. All that and more as we review last night's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talk Wrestling, and we are starting. between Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. And the interesting thing about this is they were actually all in three different places. So Bianca was in the ring, Sasha was on the commentary table, and Becky had her own little table. And natural heel. Becky didn't want to sign. Becky feels that she's too good for this match and she does not need to have this triple threat match as she's already better than Bianca and Sasha Banks. This of course led to a brawl with Bianca hitting a beautiful kiss of death on Becky Lynch as Sasha was already on the table and she slammed Becky through Sasha through the table. This was really interesting. I mean, WWE has its way with contract signs, always ending in a brawl. But I liked how this really started the show and made this match feel really important, which is also why I kind of think that this match will be the main event of Crown Jewel and just given where Crown Jewel is, just how empowering would it be to be in Saudi and have the woman main event. I mean, there's already two women matches on that card, but how to have the main event is going to be absolutely insane. So I'm kind of hoping that happens, which means it's probably not going to happen. But King of the Ring also kicked off. Yay! So King of the King of the Ring. There's something in my eye. It's really bothering me. King of the Ring and Queen's Crown started today, and you know we had the Raw side, SmackDown side, and everything's going to culminate at. Crown Jewel. So, start with King of the Ring. So, the first matchup was Rey Mysterio versus Sami Zayn. So, this is kind of the feud that the Mysterios are in right now. You know, they're fighting with Sami. Sami's trying to convince Dominic that he doesn't need his dad. This match was okay. Um, Sami got the win, which was kind of shocking. I would think that because it's in Saudi that they would want Rey to win, especially because Sami actually can't go to Saudi Arabia. So, I thought that was kind of interesting that they had Rey win. Of course, with the distraction of the turnbuckle fell off top and it was trying to put it back on where he got distracted and that's how he lost. So, it was a good match. Really interesting. And then our second matchup was Finn Balor versus Cesaro, which was actually the main event of SmackDown. And I was really intrigued by this because I felt like both men had a good reason to win. And Finn Balor picks up the W. And I feel bad because Cesaro taking all these losses now, it kind of hides that he beat Rollins at Mania because... You know, yeah, he did that, but couldn't even get through round one of the King of the Ring tournament. It's kind of sad. But the match was good. It deserved to main event SmackDown before, you know, Rollins and Hell in a Cell. But, um, so we're going to see Sam Zayn versus Finn Balor next week on SmackDown versus whoever on the Raw side is going to win. Um, which is interesting because on the Raw side you have Jinder Mahal and Kofi Kingston and then Xavier Woods against Ricochet. And I find this interesting because technically how I think the bracket's going to play are going to have Kofi and Xavier. And then I think the finals are going to be Finn Balor and Xavier Woods. And Xavier Woods picking up the W. But on the women's side, I have a little bit of an issue because the combined matches were three minutes long. So the first matchup that we had was Elena Vega versus Tony Storm, which lasted 90 seconds. And Zelina won. So I'm not necessarily mad Zelina won because I haven't really done anything with her. But to have her lose to Tony, like to have Tony be lose, I, that's like, I'm pretty sure that was like her first or second one on one match on SmackDown. You make it look bad. Like that's kind of ridiculous. So kind of mad about that. And then the second matchup you had was Liv Morgan and Carmella. And even more shocking, Carmella won. Like Liv Morgan didn't even win. And Liv Morgan, I know, was a lot of people's favorites, including mine, for this tournament. So really disappointed about that. Um, don't like that this match. Don't like the two matches for three minutes combined, especially when you gave all this time to the men. I think that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, 
The mattress should have been longer. Both mattresses were also extremely sloppy because they were rushed. And I feel like the wrong person won with Carmella and Liv. I think Liv needed to win. I don't think Carmella needed it. So this was also really bad. And I really, really hope that, you know, Zelina wins now. So the raw side of this bracket is interesting. So Dew drops there. I'm, it's Dewdrop, Shayna, it's Shayna and Dana, and so Shayna's gonna win. And it's Dewdrop, I forgot who Dewdrop's wrestling. But Dewdrop's gonna win, it's gonna be Dewdrop and Shayna, and then Shayna's gonna win, and it's gonna be Shayna versus whoever, I'm hoping it's Alina. I forgot who Dewdrop's wrestling. Can't think of it, but that's how I think the bracket's gonna go. And to close it out, Rollins. <laughs> So, because I was working the virtual Alana, I actually missed Rollins and Bade Edge's house. And when I saw the recap of it, I just kept on laughing because of just how extra he is. It was so funny. So, I will say that this whole thing was that Rollins was upset that he didn't get his challenge. And like any man would, show up to the person's house, try to get an answer to his challenge. And that by the end of the night, he was keeping the show hostage until he got an answer from Edge. He's in the ring. So, first of all, also, he stole a picture of Edge and Beth. And he was like, if you see Edge before me, can you give this back to him? And I'm like, Rollins, Seth, what are you doing? So Seth's in the ring, you know, Edge isn't going to answer me. I'm no longer edge late. I'm the best. I'm better than Edge. I always will be. And Edge came out, took Rollins out. Rollins ran away. And Edge said, you, me, Hall of Cell Crown Jewel. So the last time Rollins was in a Hall of Cell match, there was a red light and there was a DQ finish and it was against the Fiend. So very interesting to see that Rollins is back in this type of matchup, really hoping that it is a lot better than the match against the Fiend. And I'm also very intrigued because I don't necessarily know who wins because I feel like you have to give the edge to Edge, no pun intended, just because Saudi and a lot of the faces do win in Saudi. But I think for realistic more storylines, especially because I don't know what Edge and Rollins is doing after Crown Jewel on Raw, it make it also makes sense for Rollins to win and get the upper hand. So I don't know. SmackDown was good. I mean, like I said, I'm really mad about the Queen's crown. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous, and I really hope on Raw it's a lot better. And I really hope the finals of this match are at least, like, given enough time to show, like, why we had this Queen's crown tournament. Everything else was fine. It was stand up so SmackDown. But <laughs> the other funny thing, too, was actually Rollins and Edward, like, beating each other down. And they pulled Pat McAfee's commentary set. And Pat was, like, trying to run out of the way. And I was like, oh, Pat. And I will also say, because, you know, Tony tweeted this, so I don't necessarily know, I think SmackDown got a half hour extension, I think that's it. Um, so Rampage and SmackDown are going head to head next week. And Tony tweeted like, oh, it's the first time we're going head to head, like it's such a big deal. Um, let the best company win. You know I'll be watching both. It should be very exciting. And I cannot wait to see. Does Friday belong to AE Dubs? Or we land on the smack them. And that's it for me. Check out the Rampage video right after this.